Novalis. The darkness held a dark cloud over his fate. The darkness held provision for his being. The darkness came into his night and held him like a mother. Sitting in the lap of his father, he swirled in commutual reversion between her ecstasy and his embraced legacy of light. The convergence of the shadow head and the shadow lidded body throws an exuberance of life. The rising chariot of desire holds imminent within its bracing bond structure the dark form of admire. The clasping of its body by the night wields through the expanse advantage into the crown of rising destiny. The clasping of the form of Novalis is the emblem of romanticism. This is the Open Jot Soundcast. The night that spreads over the repining, wailing beings of light bestrides the caverns of our hearts with fear. The ocean that embraces castles of sand reverberates with their ecstatic rising and envelops their shadows within its intenser wave. The crucified vision of our lapsing fates struggles on the opening face of love. The swirling of our hearts against the rising of its body concocts an empty spiritual fire. The inner held truth of the enveloping wave is the vibration repercussing the form of rising power holding a resounding angel wing of life re-encompassing, transcending fire. Novalis rose to preeminence in many fields of study. The form of his reaching through the darkness yielded many degrees of clarified vision. The angle of his capturing the branching of philosophy affected the vision of institutional reckoning. The scattering of the world through his vision yielded many artifacts of measured wisdom. The coagulation of his wisdom is the foundation of romanticism. The word of his vision opened the mouth of the night that refracted the spinning fires into day in gilded apperception. Novalis died a young man. He knew he was going to die when he wrote him to the night. He knew the embrace of the goddess enveloping the convergence of night with day in a gilded ray. He embraced the night in its clarifying wave.